To God be the glory, great things He hath done. So loved He the world that He gave us His Son, who yielded His life and atonement for sin, and opened the life gate that all may go in. Praise the Lord, praise the Lord, let the earth hear His voice. Praise the Lord, praise the Lord, let the people rejoice. Oh, come to the Father. It is a very good day. The sun is up, the birds are singing. Let us close our eyes and pray. Thank you, Lord. Thank you for giving us this bright new day. Be with us in this day, my Father, my God. Open our ears so that we are able to hear your word. Thank you, Lord God Almighty, most importantly for us to practice what you teach us. In the name of Jesus, we pray. Amen. Have you ever been helped by someone? If you ever helped someone, Giving them something that they really wanted, that they were really expecting. You see the excitement on their faces, the joy. If you've been helped or if you've been given something that you really want, you just want to hug the next, next person. You want to hug the person that has helped you. You want to glorify the Lord in what they would have done to you. So today, we want to see what David was saying about the Lord for the things that he had done for him. We will be reading our scripture from Psalms 103. It's just seven verses, Psalms 103. Let's have a look at what David was saying. Praise the Lord, my soul, O oh, my inmost being. Praise his holy name. Praise the Lord, my soul, and forget not all his benefits. Who forgives all your sins? and heals all your diseases, who redeems your life from the pit, and crowns you with love and compassion, who satisfies your desires with good things, so that your youth is renewed like the eagles. The Lord works righteousness and justice for all the oppressed. He made known his ways to Moses, his deeds to the people of Israel. Let us look in the benefits that David was saying. Firstly, he says, he forgives our sins. The sins, the different sins, you know, sins of lying, sins of jealousy, of hate, of ungratefulness. He heals our diseases. And it says all our diseases. It doesn't even list one. It's all our diseases. He redeems your life from the pit. In other words, he rescues you from being thrown in the internal burning fire of hell. We are born in sin. That is our default setting. You know what a default setting is? When you buy a new phone, it has got settings that are already there. But then when you get this new phone, you start putting in other applications so that you are able to go on WhatsApp, able to go on Zoom. All these are applications that are added on. So when you are born, you are already born with the sin that is already within you. But the interesting thing is, once you are born and you have been, you have given your life to Jesus, you have said, Jesus, here I am. I am a sinner, forgive me and take me to be your child. That is now a new application that you have put on yourself. Is a phone getting an application of Zoom or of Facebook. So you are able now to go on Facebook. You are able now to communicate with the Lord and the Lord heals you. So he is the one that rescues you from the pit of hell. He crowns you. In other words, he congratulates you, congratulating you, saying, well done, my son. You've done the things that are good. He does it with excitement. He installs you or makes you a king because he crowns you with love, with gratitude and excitement and compassion and sympathy.
tender, loving king. I like this one where he says, he satisfies your desires. In other words, he makes things happen in your life. Those things, those things that you really want, he makes them happen. Oh, what a lovely God we have. Oh, what a lovely Jesus who makes these things happen to us. Whatever good thing you want, he will give you or he will make it happen that your youth is renewed. So in other words, you will not get tired. You will not get weary. He refreshes you. Oh, I love my Jesus. I love him for who he is and how he makes things happen in my life. So there we are. Psalm of David. Psalm 103. Only seven verses. Oh, how good it is when David realizes how good God is. How good God was in his life. How he had blessed him. And how he could heal his diseases. How his sins could be forgiven. So I'm sure we should be able to learn something from the Psalms of David. Learning to just thank the Lord. So, today you do not have memory verses. You do not have exercises where you are going to write down. But you have one thing only, one activity for you to do. And that is to pray. I would like you at the end of this video to close your eyes and pray. And in your prayer, I want you to mention a few of the following things. Firstly, to thank the Lord God Almighty for who He is. What He has done to you in your life. In giving you parents that love you. In giving you brothers and sisters. In giving you these parents who love you. Who are able to pay for your school fees. Who are able to clothe you. Who are able to feed you. And to do various things for you. Pray also for these parents to be given good life. Pray for them to find favor of the Lord in the places that they are working in. Most importantly, pray that the Lord sends his Holy Spirit to be with you, to protect you, to guide, to guard you and to guide you. With those few points, I would like to say for today, goodbye and we meet again. Thank you.